I am Manuel Salmeron Sanchez. I'm the head of the James Watt School of Engineering in Glasgow. We are a world-leading research-focused university. Our teaching is informed by research, which keeps our students at the forefront of engineering knowledge and development. We are an international school of engineering. Our students and staff come from all over the world. Diversity and inclusion are core values of the school. They enrich our teaching, our research, and make the university a better place to work and study. All of this is possible thanks to our technical staff and the world-class facilities that we have in the school. We are currently in three different buildings across campus where the different engineering disciplines are represented and interact with each other and also with other schools and other colleges within the university. The James Watt School of Engineering is formed around five research divisions, autonomous systems and connectivity, biomedical engineering, electronics and nanoscale engineering, infrastructure and environment, and then we have systems, power and energy. Those five research divisions really reflect traditional disciplines within engineering. However, the School of Engineering recognises that to really address the modern needs, we do need to address societal challenges. And these form our priority areas that are much more broad-reaching across the school. One of them is quantum and nanotechnologies. We have healthcare technologies. We have net zero and we have connecting people the school performed really well in the latest REF exercise, joined 12th in the UK and was rated in terms of quality the highest in Scotland. Our dissemination of our results and research was ranked 5th in the UK, so we are punching at an international level. So we're very proud and we're now seeing a number of external people from governments and policyholders that are recognising the kind of quality of research that's been performed. The school really has impact and innovation at its heart. 5% of all the lasers used in data centers were manufactured here in Glasgow. That builds on research that we have done. The School of Engineering is an exciting place. It's very easy to reach your colleagues within your discipline, but more importantly, as the society demands more greatly, very easy to reach into other research and divisional areas. One of the things that's really special about the School of Engineering at Glasgow is the James Watt Nanofabrication Centre. By having the JWNC, Glasgow provides a platform for its academics. We've got an equipment set that's worth £35 million. Pounds. We've got 22 full-time staff. So what that means is that the academics who work within Glasgow, they can design a circuit in their office and come down here, have it manufactured and then have it tested and have it measured all within the one university. We work across many different materials and that's what makes the JWNC special because in the future different materials will come together to do things that we can't even imagine just now. We're very lucky at Glasgow because we're in a Russell Group University so it's research intensive. You know our programmes are student-centred but research-led. All our academics teach which is brilliant. In the later years of the programme students take part in some of our research activities by doing Masters of Engineering and Masters of Science projects with us. There's always a tie-in between teaching and research within the school. I want them to work very closely with industry to make sure that we are completely aligned with what the societal needs are and help to try and solve the multiple problems that we face. In terms of graduate attributes that industry is looking for, we're very practical, very design focused and try to keep our industry friends and collaborators close to everything that we do. I think young people are coming into university now with a fantastic enthusiasm. The positive energy you get from young people being around, the culture that they create, I do feel so privileged to be with them on that journey. We're with the, the master students for five years and they are going with a huge range of skills. Technical service is a central hub where we're managing all the technical support. We've got a variety of bio lab, electronics lab, computing labs as well. We manage the technicians working in labs and we also have a group working in workshops so they're away from the labs and they deliver products on request. Anything that needs to be built up or fabricated from the electronics side or mechanical side or material side. We're trying to make sure that the technicians work closely with the researchers. There's a huge amount of experience. There's a lot of people who've been here for a long time. On the other hand, we are growing at the same rate as the school is growing. Uh, we're trying to keep up a ratio of one technician for three academics. 
Quality, diversity and inclusion is absolutely central to everything that we do within the James Watt School of Engineering. And we were working hard to ensure that we embedded at all levels, from undergraduate to postgraduate, within our teaching, within our research and for our support staff to ensure that we have a truly inclusive environment that nurtures and supports everybody so that we can all achieve excellence in teaching and research. We are tackling grand global challenges. If we come from a diverse environment with different inputs and ideas and understanding, we can truly collaborate and have really exciting, innovative solutions to these global challenges. In 2016, the school was awarded the bronze Athena Swan. We put in a number of initiatives, for example, increase the number of female professors from 7% to 14%. And we have increased our undergraduate female population by 55%. Since then, in 2021, we were awarded our Silver Award, which really shows that we are truly committed to further developing and expanding that to other underrepresented groups. In the James Watt School of Engineering, we have the ambition to continue delivering world-class research that will transform the life of people across the world.